How y'all doing today? All right. All right, yeah, my name's Hadeem Beverly, and I'm going into my third year as a PhD student in the School of Social Work down at the University of Texas. And part of my research is looking at resilience factors among black men and boys. That's one part of my research. And the second part of my research, I actually have three programs of research that I'm looking at. The second part is looking at the long-term impacts of marijuana use and how it impacts uh, future employment and education. And the third part of my research is really looking at how we can use hip hop, spoken word, poetry, and other expressive arts as a form of self-development and looking at how we can introduce that to intervention programs so that we can get the better understanding of youth and where they're coming from. So I'm excited about the fact that there is a hip hop and spoken word, there's a hip hop pedagogy in academia. So I'm able to use my creative and expressive arts and scholarship as well. So. I'm going to share two pieces that that I use in my workshop to share with a lot of the educators and the social workers and the mental health professionals that I work with. So they say we got to struggle just to get something. Look, my people struggle, so I hustle just to get something. I ain't sitting on my ass chilling, doing nothing. And I ain't waiting for no handouts, nor a second coming. I'm here now. I live this life like I'm supposed to live, righteously. And the truth is what I got to spread. I learned to rise above on days I wasn't feeling loved. Now I'm soaring high, strong flying like a dove. My picture's perfect. Look at it. It's telling you a story about this boy from North Philly on his road to glory. This world retarded lands, it was written in my plans. You gotta learn yourself for your mental to expand. These days I'm in a trance, feel like I ain't even here. And if I had a power, it would be that I could disappear. Go somewhere with my lady while we do our dance. If you let me tell it, this is the story that's gonna never end. So, no matter what, I stay moving. Every day in this life, I stay improving. I stay grooving, always writing to the music. Because I know I got a lot to say. From my first day on this earth, I was on a mission. They couldn't tell me nothing. I'm poised to do something different. Immune to the poison they feed in my people every day. And still feel deep in my heart, we gonna find a way. Through this maze, leave my people out the jungle at the same time. I'm keeping myself from going under. I feel the pressure is weighing down on my back in this cold, cold world. They ain't showing my people slack. Nowadays, they attacking my people mentally, and we don't even know they've been doing that shit for centuries. Check out the history. Nothing about it subliminal. It's blatant. Keeping my people trapped in the ghetto. Without a way to escape, not just physically and mentally. Be careful, they might do it religiously. Having you thinking that prayer is the only way for you to get about your struggle, I know we need more than that. And it's a long time coming. I'm fighting for my people so you know I'm not running. My fist in the air, bearing arms and I'm gunning. Feeling real strong, got the power of a hundred. And I'm breaking down barriers. Look, I'ma lead by example so my young people can follow so we can increase the sample. Of the amount of black boys and black girls who believe within themselves they can go and conquer the world. And ain't nobody gonna stop what I'm doing. Before somebody else told me, I told myself I can do it. Look. Ain't nobody gonna stop what I'm doing. Before somebody else told me, I told myself I can do it. Always believed there was more to what I'm seeing, so I'm trying to do my best so the cycle we don't repeat it. And it's needed. I'ma speak to the people, and I'm searching for myself because I'm ready for my freedom. Thank you.